I'm Bernadette, I'm the music reviewer for The Telegraph and I've just been lucky enough to see two early screenings for films about the Stone Roses. One's documentary by Shay Meadows, who made This Is England, and the other is directed by Matt Whitecross, who did the Ian Jury film Sex and Drugs and Rock and Roll. 1990, two days before the Stone Roses define an era. Excitement is building of Spike Island. It promises to be one stock for the Manchester generation. Spike Island is a fictional recreation of 1990 in Manchester. Four lads who were in a band who were trying to get to Spike Island. Gates, fences, dibble, security guards. Rivers that soppy scouts sing soppy songs about. None of them are going to stop us from getting in. Nothing is. I remember the weekend of Spike Island because the indie disco that I went to on a Saturday night was half deserted. I don't know whether those kids got in, but they were certainly trying. It was a really sunny weekend, as I remember it. It had been on the news. It was one of those kind of Beatlemania, sort of, you know, everyone was talking about it. And I think most people who didn't go, even though apparently it was terrible in some ways, the sound was awful, there were too many people, this was in the days before big screens, I think it's still taken on one of those kind of legendary uh, reputations in history. It don't matter about school. Everyone knows you did it. Come on, lads, I'm not a dickhead. It don't matter about girls. Sally Alice. You know when he jizzed the pants? It don't even matter how we get there. Go, 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 go! The rubber's hit! because nothing is going to stop us from getting in. I think the director wants to make you to sort of to laugh and to cry. He really, I think, was getting across the idea that the thing that was great about the Stone Roses is that they were real. Two fingers up to everything that was happening at that time, and he's trying to encapsulate the spirit of Manchester. And it has a slightly, it has a nice stand by me kind of quality to it, but it's also a bit cartoonish, maybe a bit over nostalgic. Lots of white hats, lots of flares, lots of not quite bang on historical references. But it's it's kind of like Shameless. It's watching a long episode of Shameless with that, all that kind of slightly naughty Manchester humour coming in. Zipper, please tell me that's got your cock to get in my bath. Kyle, it's the vibrations! <laughs> Matt Whitecross makes, I think, really fun energetic films. He's directed videos and I think some of his films have that brilliant energy that, and the reverence and sort of a bit of craziness that a music video can have. I just feel like to carry a whole film it just needed something a little bit weightier and a bit less cliched underneath it to keep going. Shane Meadows, Made in Stone documentary, I have to say he did make me cry from about 20 minutes into it right until the end. I thought I was going mad. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for how emotional this film was going to make me feel. We were like around each other's houses at night and we left it. <laughs> We love being together, we love playing music. Manchester's Stone Roses have made the leap from cult band to the hottest phenomenon of the moment. A lot of music documentaries, there's no band who gets together without one these days. They usually focus on the behind the scenes, ageing, families, band tensions, is the love still there? But Shane said quite clearly that he wasn't going to be sticking a camera in their face like Jeremy Kyle. So what he does is he really focuses on the music from the rehearsals to the, to the reunion gigs that they played and on the fans. There's a reason why I've still got my hair like this. There's a reason why I've never worn a tie. There's a reason why I listen to that album at least once okay. a week. It yeah, still makes me tingle. I, I really don't think there's another director in this country who has such empathy with people and understands passions and loves, and particularly of music. And he really conveys what it is to love music and to not lose that faith. And what happens is, is they get into a room and it's almost as if the magic is still there. Yeah, this is a live resurrection that we invite you to, so you better be careful. <laughs> Stone Roses make music that's very nebulous. There's not many cover versions out there. They're not like the Beatles. It's something actually in the making and the listening of the music. And I think that Shane Meadows captures that sort of transcendence that happens beautifully. And I think the reason I was crying is because he really took me back, not necessarily to 1990, but to feelings about loving music with all your heart when you're younger. And that's just a magical feeling. So definitely a film to watch. It's not very often one of your heroes actually to make a documentary about your all-time favourite band that are getting back together after 20 years. 
that when the Stone Roses announced that they were getting back together, the, the, the number of people who tried to get tickets for those massive Heat and Park gigs and they played at V Festival and they played around the world. I think what it showed you is there is a huge love of this band out there. They really hit a generation and, and managed to grab a whole group of people at a certain age and make them fall in love with them by making a perfect album. What's interesting about both those films is they don't stray beyond the first album. There is no music <laughs> from the second album. So it's very much focused on this almost perfect moment in time and how a generation felt, I think, about this perfect moment in time. So I'd love to know what you think of these films or what you think of the whole Stone Roses reunion, whether these gigs are as good. I've been trying to get a ticket since I've seen these films and I, <laughs> I just can't get to see them. I think I've gone Stone Roses mad. So I'd love to hear what anybody else thinks about them. Maybe I am going mad, but um, sign up for some more videos like this. Subscribe to our channel. It'd be great to hear from you.